what it is what it do i made one this is destiny and in today's video i'm gonna be showing y'all some of the rewards that i got after opening 10 skeleton chest all right so the first skeleton chest we're gonna open is on the undying mind strike and i believe i ended up getting like two legendary titan marks one of them being the mark of the undying mind which is a strike specific loot meaning you can only get the mark of the undying mind from this specific strike and while i'm showing that i want to quickly point out that you'll notice that a lot of these items that i get from these chests have different light levels and the reason that is is because the light level of the loot you get from these chests depends on your current light level so with that being said loot that you can get from these skeleton chests is a good way to level up your light level after reaching a light level of 365. Anyways, the next skeleton chest that I'm gonna open is from the Fallen Saber Strike. And as you can see here, I got the Mark of the Beacon, Titan Mark, and I also got the Baron's Ambition, Heavy Machine Gun. And as you can see, they both came with a light level that was two light levels above my current light level. Anyways, the next skeleton chest that we opened was on the Sunless Cell Strike. And as you can see here, I got the Mark of the Pilgrim Guard, which is a Titan Mark. And I also got a Dark Blade Helm, which is a helmet. And the helmet I got from this chest actually helped me increase my light level. And the Titan Mark also helped increase my light level. And as for the next strike, we ended up opening a Skeleton Chest on the Wretched Eye Strike, which is the new strike. And I believe I did end up opening up a few more Skeleton Chests on this strike, which I'll show a little bit later. But for this first one, I ended up getting a Radagast Blade, as well as another Titan Mark. And as you can see here, the Radagast Blade did have a higher light level than my current artifact. Even though it was only a blue rare artifact, it still had a higher light level. And the Titan Mark that I got from this chest, which was legendary, also had a higher light level. Anyways, the next strike where I opened up a skeleton chest was the Will of Crota. And when I opened up the chest, I ended up getting two class items. One was a Titan Mark, and the other one was a Warlock Bond. And again, they both had a higher light level than my current light level. But yeah, before we move on to the next one, I did want to mention that in my personal experience, it seemed like I got skeleton keys to drop maybe once out of every six or seven strikes. It really doesn't drop that often. But yeah, as you can see, when the skeleton key does drop, it's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to get gear with a higher light level. But yeah, my personal experience, it seems like you get a skeleton key maybe once every six or seven strikes. And I'm not 100% sure, but I don't believe you can have more than one skeleton key. So you definitely wanna try to use that skeleton key as soon as possible. Anyways, the next mission where I opened up a skeleton chest was Sepix Perfected, which is another new strike. Well, kind of new. And with this chest, I ended up getting two more class items. One was a Titan Mark, and the other one was a Warlock Bond. And the Titan Mark that I got did have a lower light level than my current Titan Mark, but it did have a higher light level than my current light level, which was 371. And the Warlock Bond came with a light level that was the same as my current Titan Mark. So I uh, didn't really get any improvements from that specific chest. Anyways, the next strike where I opened up a chest was on the Shadow Thief Strike. And when I opened up the chest, I got the Horn of Six Wars artifact. And this artifact did have a higher light level. I'm not exactly sure if I got something else. I could have had my inventory full, so another item may have been sent to the Postmaster. I'm not 100% sure, but I did get an artifact that had a higher light level from the Shadow Thief Strike. Anyways, the next strike where I opened up a skeleton chest was the Blighted Chalice Strike. And when I opened up the chest, I ended up getting a Mark of Resolve Titan Mark, as well as a Hunter Helmet, which I believe is called Hood of Malak or Malak. And when I looked at the light level of this helmet, I noticed that this helmet has the highest light level out of all of my helmets. So that was a really good drop. But when it comes to the Titan Mark, it did have a lower light level than my current Titan Mark. So that one wasn't really useful, but the helmet was definitely useful when it comes to trying to increase my light level. Anyways, the next strike where I opened up a skeleton chest was the Bond Brothers strike or the Shield Brothers. And when I opened up the chest, I ended up getting Kaber's Pocket Watch, which is an artifact. And it did have a higher light level than my current artifact. So that was another pretty useful drop. I also got the Treads Upon Star Scout Rifle from the Bond Brothers strike. And as you can see here, it came with a light level 
of 376, even though my current light level was only 375. And for the 10th and final skeleton chest, I ended up opening another chest on the Wretched Eye Strike, which is the new strike. And this time when I opened up the chest, I got a Titan Mark as well as the Devil's Dawn Sniper Rifle. So if you were wanting to get that new Devil's Dawn Sniper Rifle, the next time you get a skeleton key, you're gonna wanna save it until you do the Wretched Eye Strike and then use that key on the skeleton chest. And it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get this sniper rifle, but it does give you a good chance for it to drop when you open up this chest. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got after opening up 10 skeleton chests. Again, I tried to open them up on different strikes, but I did wanna open a couple of them on the new Wretched Eye Strike just to see what we can get. And we ended up getting a new sniper rifle called Devil's Dawn. So skeleton chests are a great way to increase your light level when you can get those skeleton keys to drop. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If y'all enjoyed it or found it useful, don't forget to do what you do. I'm A1. Thanks for watching.